Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Monday, October 26th. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Glad to be back at it. Uh, it started off a little rough. Took uh, took a loss of a little over a thousand bucks in the mighty 90 trades uh, this morning. Loser in Nvidia, Tesla, Microsoft, a uh, couple little winners in Zoom and Peloton, and then a loser in Netflix. Now I talked about this a couple weeks ago, but sometimes when you get in a market situation and the mighty 90 strategy is not working, that really indicates that the runners will be kind of the, the strategy for the day. And so uh, while we took the heat in them, took the losses early in the morning, we came back uh, in the late morning plus 1,340 on our runners. So total net net for the day plus $324. So just a small green day. Uh, but what I want to show you is, well, let's start with our, um, let's start with our mighty 90 trades, uh, starting with Nvidia. So I had this big push up. I had a, uh, early in the morning, I had a bias to the upside. I mean, we, I, I think kind of big picture I've been talking about leading into the election. I think we're going to get a, a decent little bounce. Well, that certainly did not happen today. Uh, and so we started out, uh, in, in Nvidia had this big push higher and got try to get short against this pivot, but it just pushed out. I finally got a couple bars in my direction, but ended up closing it out for loss. Uh, Tesla, uh, kind of a kind of a similar thing here. Got this big volume pop, and then it just kind of traded sideways. Ended up just cutting out of it for loss. It did end up rolling over, but we didn't uh, we didn't hold on that long. Uh, and then Microsoft took a couple of trades here. One was this big push here, and we we got it. We get out with a little profit here, and then on this push down, we tried to get long, and uh, ended up didn't get out in time. But anyway, just kind of rolled over and ended up taking a little loss on that. So that was two different trades. In Zoom Zoom, we took a little. Uh, let's see, in Zoom. Oh yeah, so Zoom came down. We we got in here and then we added here and we're able to catch some there and then I added back in there and caught some of that. So just a small winner in Zoom overall. Uh, and then Peloton, Peton tried to catch a bounce and uh, caught it, caught it basically the bottom of this bar here. It pushed up. We closed half of our position at 10% and then it just rolled over and we were able to end up getting out for a, for a small profit. And then Netflix, let's go to Netflix, uh, had a loser here where we were trying to get long for a bounce as well. Uh, almost got out of part of, and then it just rolled over. So ended up taking a loss there. But once you once you see this happening and the market started getting really weak and you know then we were we were done with the the uh, live stream and the and if you look at the indices uh, you know the Dow was was super weak uh, I look at the Nasdaq just continue to fall 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 uh, when it started to consolidate here uh, after I got out of these mighty ninety trades I I kind of just walked away I took a little break and came back. Uh, right around right before 11 a.m. Central and 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 the ones that I caught here were so let's look at beyond I mean this is just a beautiful beautiful runner strategy setup and beyond so we had this big push lower uh, and then it just started to consolidate here below yes uh, Friday's low and so I got in somewhere about right here and um, pushed back up to that line and then just absolutely rolled over. I held my last piece of this all the way down to this pivot here for a nice winner of $780. Very similar thing in Disney. Uh, when we were in the live stream, it started consolidating here and I almost took a short, but I, but what kept me out is I had that, that upside, that bullish bias in the market. So I didn't do it. Uh, obviously that would have worked out well. So I missed all of that, but uh, once it once the markets really showed their weakness, it started consolidating again under this pivot, and right at a, right at about eleven o'clock, a little after, I got in right here below this pivot and just flushed down for a nice winner of nine twenty. That was my biggest winner. So, uh, like I said, the, kind of the the thing you want to watch is a you you can go into the day having a bias, which I always almost always do. You know, sometimes a it's not very strong one way or another, but today I actually had a pretty strong bias and that, that hurt me from a standpoint of I didn't take this short, so I, I did miss that. Uh, I did take several long, uh, mighty 90 trades uh, when the market was um, 
was going down and did not catch those bounces. And so that's when you really have to kind of step away and, and make sure that you're, you're not letting your bias control your trades. Uh, you can come in with an idea, you can come in with a, with a bias, but you have to let price action lead. And, and that's what we did later in the morning and were able to make up uh, the losses from the early morning. So uh, plus 324 for the day, nothing, uh, nothing crazy, nothing special, but uh, green nonetheless. So hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, let me know.